two of the men she loved most were there that morning, brother Max and son Dylan. The thing about having a public figure as a mum and as a sister is that you share them with the country. Everyone has an opinion on her, on her union work, on her medicinal cannabis campaign, which became very important to her towards the end of her life, on everything she does. But Max and Dylan were proud of her, so very proud and proud of what she believed in and fought for. Here they are briefly, starting with Dylan. She's pretty inspiring. Um, she's a laugh. She doesn't take no for an answer. I don't think I've ever won an argument with her in my entire <laughs> life, which I know you don't find surprising because you've met her. Yeah, but, yeah. but, but as an adolescent, you would have given it a shot, right? Oh, yeah, many a shot. That's how I know because I tried a lot of times and it never works. Was she quite strict when you were, you oh. know, a naughty teenager? No, but she was a, she's a, uh, she was a great mum growing up. She always kind of let me know where the, the limits were and what her expectations were of me I think without ever kind of putting her foot down for its own sake I think which is very much I think what she's like in public life when she's doing battle with the Peter Jacksons and the Peter Tellys of the world yeah she has incredible character it's very strong stoic as Don says she doesn't back down and she's invariably right because she's always coming in from a position of the best for people there's no second guessing, there's just she knows what is right and that's what she does. Her morals are basically unimpeachable, you know. She's got a, she's got a long and story, I mean we know this from extensive first hand experience obviously, but I mean now so does everyone else. Um, and so, yeah, for her, to, for her to kind of lend her kind of moral authority to issues like this, and of course that goes across the, the whole the whole gamut of all the issues that she's kind of taken on as her her kind of pet project. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's good that we care about these things. Maybe not quite as much as she does. <laughs> she cares a lot, but we clearly, clearly are passionate about these issues. And so for a, a, a member of our family, for someone that we love to be kind of throwing her weight around and, and making progress on this where previously there's been none for, for ages is is fantastic is yeah i'm extremely proud back when we were kids and we had towels in the bathroom and and mum labeled them max kelly mp and helen kelly pm and that's what we expected her to be one day we expected her to be prime minister and you know that's yeah and i think she would have been an amazing prime minister did her tower really have Helen Kelly PM on it? It had Helen Kelly PM. <laughs> Always put, why am I only an MP? <laughs> you are a doting big brother, aren't you? <laughs> Very much. She's my baby sister. But she's my big sister. She always will be, and I can't imagine what life will be without her. You're heartbroken, aren't you? But let, let's finish on a celebration of her just why don't you just celebrate your sister what would you like to say about her she'll never be forgotten and she'll always live on you know, she's my baby my baby big sister and you know, she's kept this family on an even keel and she's always been there she's helped me out of all sorts of things and and you know her big fear, she's not afraid of dying, she's, her fear is leaving us behind and I think that sums her up. She's one of the least judgmental people I've ever met in my life. She's one of the most gracious people, forgiving. She's my sister. That's Max Kelly and uh, the other voice was Dylan Kelly, Helen's son.